Hi guys, and good third year. And uh, this is a another video response. Basically, I got two video responses again because might as well do them in, in a bulk. Now, uh, it's uh, basically one question from Novabag and one question from Feta Flinch. Actually, Feta Flinch question should come first, but we'll t we'll do it at the end because it's actually relate kind of related to um, Novabag's question. And this is, are you an accomplished gamer? And which is from Novabag. Now, I myself read the on the answer, and as Novabug said on this video, uh, you would say, yes, I'm an accomplished gamer. Now, I myself am not an accomplished gamer, thinking about it again. I, I am a, a hardcore gamer. I am. Uh, I am, a, in a way, not a genuine gamer, but uh, experienced. Let's call it experienced gamer. Uh, I've been playing stuff from those days and forwards. And uh, yeah, this is um, yeah. What I'm consider myself. And uh, yeah, um, what else is there? I do play retro games, modern games, PC gaming, even uh, which uh, consider you know, which in a way encapsules the whole gaming, modern, contemporary, old gaming. And um, yeah, what, what is what is this basically? I, I myself, I'm. To play games, I love them, play a lot, and uh, I pick up a game, try to learn from it and improve it. Yeah, uh, for instance, uh, like for a modern game, for instance, like Dark Souls or Dark Souls 2, where they are hard. Um, well, while myself don't suffer from any, as Norbach said, uh, arthritis or anything like that kicking in, I, I do learn a game and I can play it without an issue, and uh, yet I can pick up a old retro game and I learn it with yeah learn it quite well I for instance I don't know for, take for example survival horror games or anything like that where you can just avoid enemies and uh, you know the patterns and everything that itself doesn't require much of a skill but it's still something that you learn it's uh, something that comes in naturally uh, as you progress uh, yeah like uh, or in, for instance like driving games I um, like arcade driving games, those are actually quite hard to learn, and uh, yeah, I do that without quite an issue. I pick it up and learn it. However, oh, that still doesn't make me an accomplished gamer, I'm definitely an experienced gamer. Now, uh, yes, you get experience in your field, however, being an accomplished gamer includes, as Novak said, you have to learn every genre, you have to play, pick up any genre, and you love it. Regarding, you know, ranging from FPS, RPG, or uh, JRPGs, um, strategy games, you know, point and click adventures, why not? I, I myself, uh, not a big fan of, uh, not really not a big fan, but, um, they kind of interest me, but they're not in the mindset of playing them. Uh, th that, those are JRPGs, I've mentioned it so many times before. Um, they're not my thing, in a way, they're not, uh, my games, uh, well, they're more of my brother, my brother's games, really. I usually don't tend to play them. But, um, just mix RPG with action. I'm fine with that. Perfectly fine. You know, like, you got, like, Diablo, Torchlight, Hack and Slashes, and whatnot. That I'm fine. However, picking up, like, JRPGs or strategy games, like Civilization, Europa Universalis, etc., etc., I can't pick them. I, I can learn, I try to learn it, but they will bore me. So that itself doesn't make me an accomplished gamer. I I just yeah play what I'm more comfortable with in a way. I don't like yeah, probably in the future I might expand my horizons. But at the moment, no. I'm in a way I'm still young. I kind of experience, but not an accomplished gamer. So no, I'm not. However, that doesn't make me any less of a gamer. Anyway, yeah, that was the question. Uh, I know I mumbled a bit in there, and uh, yeah, kind of a waffle, but I want to get my point across. And yeah, I'm not. And uh, this kind of relates to the uh, grinding question that Infected Fringe raised. And uh, this is um, do you enjoy, you know, like grinding in games? It's not enjoying grind grinding, but it's kind of sim along, the, along the lines. Or uh, do you get bored and. Uh, yeah, you get tired of it. I myself, as I mentioned, 
played already online FPS games and uh, played for a lot of hours and I grinded a lot. And that, um, it kind of, in a way, because I was in a community, I was doing that because I was new in the community and uh, I was kind of well known. So in a way, grinding was satisfying in that term. But then, uh, yeah, in these days, I just play a game and then I realize there's grinding, I'll just leave it. I'd rather stick with a single player portion of the game. Um, as if the fringe, like games like again, Dark Souls, uh, grinding is actually um, a much um, appreciated, how is it called, much encouraged feature, uh, encouraged by from software. Really, you have to grind to get better. That's fine in action RPGs, and uh, I, I myself am fine with that. Uh, fact is that yeah, Dark Souls is mostly is kind of single playerish. Mostly, you can play single player, no one will bother you that much um, and myself and be invaded and um, yeah that's mostly single player that's fine grinding it because you got the because they actually know that there is a point in grinding that there is an achievement in doing it well not a trophy but a an actual personal achievement um, yeah uh, when is that type of grinding when it's actually fun doing it uh, yeah, I I don't get bored with it. But most of the time, like in FPSs, uh, they're mostly encouraged to to go for a multiplayer portion of a game, and that's to just pan, as it called, to length lengthen uh, the duration of a game. Uh, it's mostly most of them are concentrated just on multiplayer aspect, and you just completely forget about a single player. Uh, in a way, grinding ruined that, ruined the single player in games for most of them. Uh, probably. If you guys got a better point, do state in the comments or even put a video response back. Well, even though this is already a video response, whatever, leave a comment. Uh, yeah, where grinding away ruined single players. For, for me, that's what happens, and uh, it's modern gaming, it will happen. It's a fashion, it's a fad. And uh, I wish it there wasn't there. I wish most of the games was just single player. In fact, actually, um. Sorry, I'm just uh, diverging from a point, uh, from the actual question. Um, I was uh, commenting on, um, on, yeah, I'm commenting on uh, on a comment uh, on uh, on YouTube, and this guy uh, was saying about it was about a Alien, what was it called Isolation, the new Alien game anyway. Uh, which is, it was going to be really good, but whatever. It basically said, "Oh, this game needs the online." I'm thinking. No, really, it doesn't need no online. It's best to be just single player only. You know, it's a better experience rather than being uh, they're gonna do a crappy single player and or a crappy multiplayer. So just why don't you make it single player only? And that's where, uh, in a way, it was kind of uh, no argument but discussion, and then we left to disagree. You know, agree to disagree, whatever. Uh, but yeah, in a way, that's what I mentioned. See the mentality of people in a way. It's accustomed to his grinding, and uh, it's still good. I myself don't appreciate it that much, apart from RPGs. That's fine, no problem. But anything else, leave grinding alone. You know, don't. If you get bored with it, don't don't worry. Just quit the game. G give yourself a refund. If you're going on Steam, shame. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. That's uh, my two video responses. Uh, I know I probably came up because of this mug. I apologize, but anyway, I wanted to get my point across. Anyway, uh, yeah, actually, I want to ask you, do you like a new Coke, Coke Life? I do. Mus I myself do enjoy it. Uh, I prefer it over Diet Coke. It's more of a natural taste to it. And, uh, yeah, it's more refreshing. Anyway, yeah, sorry, a bit of advert in there. I just want to know your, uh, your suggestion. Pretty good. Anyway, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see you next video. And bye.